You want to learn how to create smooth camera movements like this? This video will guide you through everything you need to know to master After Effects 3D camera. Right-click anywhere here and press New, then Camera. Under Type, you have two options. A one-node camera faces a single direction when changing its position. A two-node camera gives a point of interest parameter to determine where it should face when you change its position. I will use a one-node camera for this tutorial. Press OK to create the camera layer. You can change where you are viewing the 3D scene from with this drop-down. Perspective controls are as follows. Press 1 and drag to rotate. Press 2 and drag to shift horizontally. And press 3 and drag to zoom in and out. I'll use this random image as an example. I'll also create two views to show the camera's view and how the camera is moving. Now, instead of moving the camera with its transform parameters, we are going to use a null object. A null object is simply a point in space that we can tether the camera to. Once the camera and null are linked, moving the null will move the camera. But wait, what are the points of nulls, you may ask? Well, if we simply use the camera's transform parameter for all of the motion, everything wouldn't look smooth. Instead, if we spread that motion out over multiple null objects, the animation will look a lot smoother. Now, right-click and add a null object. Turn on the 3D property. Duplicate the null object multiple times. Now, to connect the camera to the nulls, we take the pick whip on the camera and drag it to the first null layer. Then, drag the pick whip on the first null to the second null layer. Do this for all null objects. I will keyframe the position and orientation on the nulls. The key here is that the keyframes on each null overlap the ones underneath, creating a smooth transition between them. Furthermore, you can highlight the keyframes and press F9 to smooth them. If you want to learn more advanced 3D camera techniques, click on this video. Subscribe.